They're all in the gate. And they're off on the Virginia Handicap, and it's an even start toward the inside. You can do it, moves out for the lead on the far outside. That's Boart's ball moving up. Then toward the rail, it's Gold Memory. They lead the shoot, move on to the main track. Boart's ball on the outside of half length. You can do it now, rushing up toward the inside. Comes, start at once. Gold Memory is there. Then it's a length and a half back toward the inside. That's flashy and smart. Another half length back to the outside. That's Scott Zana. Then it's another two lengths back to the rail. That's Dance for Thee. Then toward the far outside comes Autumn Slew. It's a length back to the rail. That's Try My Tie with Special Request. They went the first quarter in 23 and 2, and they leave the backstretch. Move to the 3 8th pole. On the inside, that's Start at Once. On the outside, for the lead, it's Gold Memory. Then it's a half length back toward the inside. You can do it, looks for room at the rail. That's flashy and smart. Past the quarter pole to the top of the stretch. Gold Memory now leads a half length. You can do it, ranges up on the outside to get the lead. Then it's a length back toward the outside. That's Autumn Slew coming on. Boart's ball is there, then toward the inside. Flashy and smart. They come to deep stretch. You can do it. Flashy and smart toward the inside. Rallying at the rail, special request. Here's the wire. It's going to be close. It's going to be too close to call. The result of the 10th race, the Virginia Handicap is now official. The winner's seven, Flashy and Smart. A Bay Philly by Smartin from Flashy Chestnut. Owned by Dominic Romeo, trained by Deborah England, and ridden to victory by Pat Day. Number five, You Can Do It was second. Number three, Special Request finished third. Six, Dance for Thee was fourth. The running time won 26 and three. to the saddle enclosure. We only have a few moments with Pat Day, obviously a very busy man. Pat, let's talk about the fact that you uh, got the mount. You had never ridden this horse before. I assume that happens a lot because you're riding in races all over the country. How do you get acquainted with a horse like this in a short amount of time? Well, you know, I, I look at the racing form and, uh, you know, try to try to pick out what her best race is, best style of running is. And then I had a chance to talk at length with the trainer, uh, Debbie England, here in the, in the paddock. She told me about the filly. And then you get to know him a little bit in the post parade and, uh, you know, on the way to the gate. And hopefully you're on the same way linked when, uh, when you get to the gate. And uh, sometimes it turns out like it did today. She, she ran a marvelous race, uh, came, came away from the gate running, was well placed, uh, cut the corner at the head, top of the stretch, showed a lot of courage down inside there and, and uh, prevailed in, the, in a long drive and got the job done. Did you pick up anything with the rain as far as how the track was playing? Well, not really. Uh, you know, they, they the, the it's been raining hard off and on all day, and uh, the track looked like it was pretty much good all over. Uh, the race just pre previous to that, uh, Jerry Bailey had been down on the fence and won it. Uh, horse had been coming from off of it, laying up close, outside, inside. It didn't seem to be any bias, and that's the shortest way home, so that's why we took. Pat Day winning jockey here in the Virginia Handicap under some pretty tough conditions and off to a good end of the year. He'll be off to an even better start of the year in 98. Thank you very much. And thank you very much. Appreciate it. Happy New Year, everybody.